Sunder Kawaguchi, Yoshinori Imai, and Satoshi Bando, Triple Drums. Thank you for this request, Matt Knowles. Let's do it. Those accents. Polyrhythms. We got a 4 4 beat. What the heck is Senri playing? The accents make it sound really, you know, like an odd time signature, but I wasn't counting. Okay, I gotta start this over because I want to count what Senri is doing if I can. Okay, it sounds like she's doing a 9-8, and then a 4-4 pattern comes in over it. Is she doing a 9-8? Because, like, for 4-4 to line up with 9-8 would take so many repetitions. When does 9, I guess, 18 counts? So, the 4-4 would have to play... What's 18 divided by 4? Never mind. I can't do math on stream. You guys know that. Oh my gosh, and now they switched, but this guy came in doing a completely different, like. Well, okay, so this guy's doing like a. I think that's what I heard. Maybe it's counted differently though. That is so crazy, layering all these different drum patterns. they can seamlessly switch on a dime between these drum patterns and counts and all stay in sync together is insane. keeping these three videos up too the whole time so you can see this is one take they're doing and i think it's live blues alley japan so that makes this even more insane that this is all in one take and they're so perfectly locked in together
has a set of tim is that a set of timbales for his two tree toms or are they just really small toms anyway it's a blues club in tokyo that just casually has three virtuoso drummers sitting there like the fact that there's three drummers of this caliber in one room like the only thing that could make this cooler is if you threw marco miniman in there but dang that was cool Even this is perfectly locked in. I love when drum patterns are super stretched out like this. Like you have a lot of one, two, three, four, dun, 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 dun. a lot of space between each snare hit. It makes it sound so much more wide open. Uh, Shabo, yes. On, I've only seen Lerna Lewis, Lewis's uh, <laughs> Enter Sandman cover after he learned the song after one listen, which was really dang impressive. But I haven't seen anything beyond that. Yeah, I gave up on that, Jonathan. <laughs> I love how he has his two. Okay, so we've confirmed these are regular toms, but I love how he has them tuned so tight and so high. So they have kind of that timbali flavor um, and kind of a Latin feel almost. Oh, I love his sounds here Do it with this solo he's playing. It just sounds so good. And Sunry solo too. Ah, oh, when she started doing those, dun, 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 you know, just kind of another polyrhythm laid over the beat they're playing on so dang tasty her time tuning is really nice too
if I had to follow this up, I'd just freaking drop my sticks and walk away and lock and just watch the show from a closet. <laughs> this is so insane. China stack he's got here that he was kind of riding on. Right here. Ooh. Tasty. crap that pattern he was just doing between his hands and his feet like was that all linear or was it stacked but it sounded so trippy the rhythms listen to this like between what he's doing on the kick and what he's doing uh, with his hands by the way this guy's a heavy hitter huh listen to that kick <laughs> I loved how simple that last one was. And again, the toms tuned so nicely. Like, I've noticed with all these kits, they have a really large range of pitches in their toms. Where this tom went down to like the pitch of a kick drum. Like, Almost as low as you can tune a drum and still have some type of pitch to it. Listen to this. Real low. Oh my gosh. This is a request, a stream plus request, so I'm giving it the full 10 minutes because how could I stop watching this center solo? This is so crazy.
the flams. Oh. Double strokes, so effortless. Oh, combo. Oh, it hurts so much to turn this off, but I got to keep things fair and cut it here. We're already 30 seconds over the 10 minutes, so holy crap, Matt. Thank you for that. I want to just have this video playing on loop in the back of my studio, like when people are chilling. Why can't the blues clubs in Minneapolis have stuff like this? This would be so sick to be in person, just chilling, drinking an old fashioned, watching these three drummers. Oh my gosh. 